So in this area, I removed the honeysuckle a year ago. Um, and what's coming back this spring, well, I, moved, I removed the honeysuckle over two years. What's coming back this spring is a native annual um, called Daisy Flea Bane, common Daisy Flea Bane. This is a very cool low maintenance plant. And you know, it's probably more of a biennial. These probably seeded themselves in last year in response to the honeysuckle being removed. Um, the soil gets warmer when that brush is removed. And when the soil gets warmer, the seeds that are waiting in the soil get their signal that the niche is open and it's time to germinate. So they were probably basal um, leaf growth like, uh, like this down here. That's actually rutabecchia last year. And now this year they're blooming and it's basically just, you know, free flowers, um, free native flowers. They attract small native bees. And I'm gonna try really hard to find one. These small native bees move around pretty quickly, but if we can catch them and my camera can focus on them, as you can see, oh, look at that. There's a, looks like a native caterpillar there. And that's what you get with native plants. Um, some native insect, whether it's a caterpillar or not, it's going to find it and start living off of it as um, ecology has been happening for millions of years. So, yep, wherever you find common daisy flea bane, collect some seeds. It, you can it'll fill in in open parts of your garden or if you remove honeysuckle in sunny areas or partial shade areas, this stuff will revegetate very quickly. And you know, it doesn't get much taller than about two feet. Um, so it's not, it's not like horse weed where it'll get five feet tall and it doesn't make a showy bloom and it makes, you know, neighbors mad and makes your yard look a little unkept. Um, this guy is only going to get about two, two and a half feet tall and you can enjoy those small solitary native bees and maybe find some cool caterpillars on them.